Hi. So today I'm doing a little bit of an art haul. I recently got this stuff for Christmas Eve. I know it for like Christmas Eve. And I know it's like February now, but I just thought, eh, what the hell, you know? Fuck it. I was supposed to be cleaning my room, but hey, it's okay. Hold up. Let's get started. Alright, so first, some of the paper that I got. By the way, all this stuff was sent to me from Christmas by the same person, my aunt's friend. Shout out to Susan. Thank you so much for this. Now, okay. I do not know what this is for exactly. This is about the same texture as like those dryer sheets that you put in. Like, so that it actually doesn't smell like shit when it comes out of the dryer. I'm not really sure what this stuff is used for. But I am excited to find out what it is. For those of you on Instagram who, like, took the poll and stuff, um, asking whether or not you wanted a karaoke video or a sketchbook tour, for those of you who are still waiting for the karaoke video, I am sorry. I am an absolute pussy when it comes to singing on camera. So, yeah. There's like this paper and stuff, and I'm actually kind of excited to see what I can do with this. Some more paper in here, so I'll just take that out. Oh, just... <laughs> I can't... <laughs> God, I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, so... <laughs> So here's some paper. Okay, now that I think about it, one side looks like... Okay, so hold up. Ignore that piece. Get out of here. So, like, one piece is, like, kind of tinted with yellow. I'm not sure if you can see that. I have terrible lighting right now. And another side's kind of, like, white-ish. I'm not sure if you can see the difference, but I'll fold one side back. Yeah, you can see it a lot better. Okay. So that's my paper. Eh. Shit. Eh. Alright. Start with that. So I got four of these, like, little blending things. Which, I don't really... At first, I thought these were used for, like, graphite and stuff. But, now looking at them... Um, Susan, the person that gave all this stuff to me, uh, some of this stuff is actually used, some of it is new, and, yeah, I'm not sure why there's a bunch of blue on it, um, yeah, at first I thought it was for, like, a bunch of graphite and stuff, but I'm not too sure now. Pretty sure uh, this is like either a paintbrush or this like, you know those brushes that you use in like graphite pieces and stuff? Wait. Derma blend. Okay, this is just a makeup brush. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm dumb. Uh, I'm pretty sure, hold up. Not sure if you could see it. I don't know why she sent me, like, makeup brushes. I mean, you can use, like, any brush. Focus, camera! Thank you. I have a cheap-ass phone. I don't have a camera, unfortunately. Got two, like, Prismacolor pencil things. One of them is, like, a blending pencil. Uh, yeah, colorless. And I'm pretty sure some people use that to, like, blend their stuff. It's been a while since I've actually, like, used colored pencils. Because now I mostly use markers. But yeah. Here's a graphite pencil. And, uh, it's jet black. Yeah. I did a little bit of graphite at some point, but... Yeah. Well, look at me and twirling word flux, but okay. I'm not even sure if I used that in, like, the right context. 
you know what? I don't give a fuck. So, Prismacolor marker. Now, I did have a Prismacolor, like, colorless blending tool at some point. And, fun fact, I used it to actually, like, blend color pencils. Because at the time when I was first, like, really getting serious about, like, my art and the possibility of my comic idea, I used color pencils. And I always hated, like, the really, um, kind of, <sighs> kind of uneven texture you sometimes get, especially with, like, textured, uh, sketchbooks. So I would sometimes use a Prismacolor marker. I have that in my set, so, yeah. It's another one of these, too. Pretty sure it's like a, so, water, mark, bit, pen. So, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm only using, I'm basically doing all this shit one-handed. So, on one side, there is a brush nib. Hold up. Other side, we have a bullet nib, which you, as you can see, it's like blue on one end. Which, I'm not sure what the deal with that is. I'm not really sure what medium Susan was using before she gave all this to me. Which, again, I'm actually super happy that she did. Okay, and this is kind of what got me a little excited. These are, a. Uh, so according to the packaging that they came out of, these, um, you, you, like, put ink on them. And you, like, use that to apply them. And that's kind of cool. So I'll show you how they, like, put in. So, yeah, again, doing it one-handed. They go in, like so. And, yeah, check that shit out. That's pretty badass, if I do say so myself. And can we just take a moment and look at the handle of this... Like, if you could see all those air bubbles, you would also think that's pretty dope. No? Just me? Yeah. So, there are two nibs that come in each packaging. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy with these. Although, I'm not really sure when I'm going to use these in, my, in any of my art. Although, I'm excited to find out when. Next, uh... Next thing... Last time I open it with my mouth, I'm not going to do that again. I just resealed the bag, goddammit. Okay, hold up. God damn it! Thank you. Fuck. Okay, so... <laughs> that was a lot harder than I meant for it to be. So... We have an ink blending tool. According to this, you just apply the ink to this thing. And you kind of like apply it. At first I thought it was like a stamp or something. But apparently you can actually like use it kind of like a bit of a paintbrush or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to do my research. I have my fair share of research ahead of me. So there's this. The uh, tool base. Hold up. What the fuck is this even called? Tool base. We'll just call it that because that's what the instructions call them. I don't fucking know what it's actually called. Hold up. Ink blending tool. So yeah. And it comes with like. This pack originally came with, like, two uh, blending pads, which include that one that's already on the base and this one. And then it also comes with, hold up, I'm going to have to count all of this, nine other blending pads. So I already have, in total, 11 blending pads in this. Hold up, did I forget one? I don't think so. But yeah. Oh! And something else. 
I was actually very happy to get this. Hold up, as, you, as I walk through my messy ass room. Hello. For those of you who are cringing at how messy my room is, don't come at me, please. Like, <laughs> I'm a lazy shit. I finally got my hands on like an aqua brush thing. Not sure what the tech, what is technically called, but holy motherfucking shit. I have seen these on YouTube. I wanted to get my hands on one of these so bad. But I never did until just now. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Th th I, no words can express how happy I am to have my hands on this. Well, hand, because I'm holding my phone. Yes, not my cam not a camera, a phone. Because I don't have I'm too lazy to get like editing software. And I'm too broke to get my own camera. And I don't have a job, so here we go. Here's that for you. Uh 17, don't have a job. How how good could you get? So yeah, anyways, that's a bit of my art haul. And, oh, here's some other stuff, some watercolor, uh, pencils that I got, and hold up, yes, I'm walking through my messy ass room again, please don't come at me. This I didn't get from Susan, but I actually made this myself. Shit, I'm gonna have to, like, put some of these back. Fuck, how did so many of these come apart? I was waiting for it to be, like, so fucking organized, but now it's just, like, a mess. Like my room. Yay! So, yeah. That's why I was so excited for this. So, now, I can use my watercolors on the go. And now I also have watercolor pencils. I even got, like, a metallic end to them. Fancy shit right there. Fuck, I can't close it there. So yeah, that's a bit of my art haul. There's probably more. Actually, wait, there is. Shit. We have this. So for those of you who don't know what this is, this is like, um... Palette paper. So basically, some artists um, prefer having something disposable for like palettes, but at the same time, they use like paper or something. They it's not easy to like mix their shit. So we have this beautiful piece of work, disposable palette paper, and there are forty sheets. 9 by 12. And look. I'm not even sure if I'm molding this right. But you could even be Bob Ross. You can even hold it like this. It's a very belated Christmas miracle. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, me rambling. Getting off subject. And also showing you my messy ass room. Along with my art supplies. My newly found art supplies. And now I gotta start cleaning up my room. So, yeah. I don't know what the fuck to do. 